On behalf of the Harm Reduction Action Center and the community that we serve, thank you so much for this Denver Overdose Awareness Day proclamation. I stand before you today with a heavy heart as we mourn those we have lost for overdoses. And as a service provider in your community, I'm here to say our community is continuing to struggle with these losses. The names on my clothing and arms represent the folks who have passed away due to overdose and now reside on our overdose memorial wall at our agency, usually with their pictures. The wall is right next to my desk and for all to see. Nine years ago, we started this wall at our agency to memorialize those we lost specifically to overdose. Because we have so many folks on our wall, we had to recently reorganize as we couldn't bear starting to add photos to another wall. All of these folks were loved, and I know that because I loved many of them too. I knew and served many of them, and my staff and I miss them with their smiles and hope, because there's always hope when people are alive. High fives, hugs, and laughter. Other pictures for the wall were brought to us by loved ones and mothers. These overdoses were from heroin or stimulants or mixing. Most of these names on me today represent the ages of 17 to 40. The hearts of those whose names I do not know. Many of these folks passed away in residences and hospitals, parks, cars, stairwells, underneath bridges, underneath viaducts, bathrooms, shelters, motels, and hotels, to name a few. We continue to be incredibly concerned as we continue to lose good folks in our community, and most of these overdoses are preventable. Many of the national folks are saying we won't even plateau in this overdose epidemic for more than seven years, and my heart simply finds that unacceptable. So a very special thank you to the Denver City Council for this Overdose Awareness Day, as this is a day we mourn those we have lost and fight like hell alongside those with us. Thank you. Thank you.